Zuko here. If you don't know, my name is Jess, but I go by Zimmy on the internet because one time I was 15. So it is time for my end of summer book haul. These are all the books that I've bought since like June, July, and August, I think. I did a book haul in like June, but it was like filmed before that. Anyway, here are all the books that I bought. Uh, there's quite a few. I don't know how many. Let's count them. There are 24 books here, so let's get right into it. Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan, I think. I don't know what this is about. This is about a girl who like has a brother who drowned and doesn't know what to do and she like sees women who are like cool and powerful and she wants to be like them maybe question mark? I don't know. I truly have no idea what this book is about. I liked the cover because I like bones. Then I have The River Has Teeth by Erica Waters. This is, I want to say like a creepy YA horror book. Natasha's sister is missing and someone has secrets. I don't know. I don't know. This seems weird. So I pre-ordered it and here it is. Then I have The Dead in the Dark by Colt Ertney Gold. I believe that this is a debut. Uh, and I think this is also a like weird YA horror. Teenagers are disappearing and turning up dead. And there are TV popular ghost hunters. And I don't know, but I'm really excited to read this. I don't know if I should like read this now or save it for Halloween month. I just don't know. And I have the Indigo exclusive version of Anyway the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell. This is the third book in the Simon Snow trilogy. This is the final book and it was very good. I recommend it. I don't have a lot to say about this one because it is the third in the series. So yeah, I have this guy. Then I have Small Favors by Erin A. Craig. I truly do not know what this book is about, but it looked kind of weird and creepy and it had bees on it. I'm hoping all of these are like weird horror books, honestly, and I know they're not, uh, but I liked the cover of this one. So I bought it. It says, enter not the forest deep beyond the bells that the dark friends keep. That sounds like it could be a creepy forest book. Love creepy forest books. Next, I have the, I don't know, fourth? Fourth of the Adventure Zone graphic novels. This is the Crystal Kingdom. I've never, I listened to the first episode of Adventure Zone and then never continued on, not because I didn't like it, but because I'm busy. And I haven't read any of these yet, but I have them all. So there's this. Then I have The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. I like Molly Ostertag. I think this is like queer mermaid. The art is so pretty. And I just have enjoyed things that Molly Ostertag has done. So I picked this up. This is obviously a graphic novel and it might be queer. No, it is queer. It's queer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's this. I have my graphic novels over there because they have a different shelf. Oh my goodness, it's been a while. Then I have The Ivies by Alexa Dunn. This is a mystery, um, a YA mystery thriller, question mark, of a girl gets murdered at this very fancy boarding school, prep school thing, and everyone's trying to figure out who done did it. Alexa Dunn is a YouTuber here, and I was excited about this book. I've read this book, and I really liked this book, so I do recommend this book, and that's this book. Then I have Ace of Spades by Farida Ibiki Iyamida, and this is a very intense book about a very prestigious high school where all of a sudden in their senior year school these two students start getting aggressively bullied. Trigger warnings in this book, like intense trigger warnings for homophobia and racism. I don't want anyone going into this book and getting really like hurt by reading it, but you should read this book. It's a ride. Then I have Marvel Loki verse. Nope. Then I have Marvel vs. Loki. I don't want to talk about it. I have a problem. You don't even know the problem that I have. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. Then I have Everland by Wendy Spinelli, I think. Um, or Spinal. I don't know. I feel like these are like a weird portal fantasy. And, and yeah, I, this is the first in a trilogy. I think there's like Umberland and something else. I don't know. These kind of intrigue me. So I picked this one up and like hopefully I'll read it eventually soon because I'm trying not to buy so many series because I have so many series. Then I have The Shadows, a novel by Lex North. This might be an adult horror book. It says they tried to control dreams and ended up making a nightmare. I'm not completely sure what this is about, but I have it. It's got a spoon hand on it. So yeah, <laughs> that's this. I'm not good at describing books today, can you tell? <laughs> then I have The Last Girls by Demetra Brodsky. 
And I think this is about a survivalist family who is like preparing for the end of the world, but then the problem comes from within the family, I think. I'm not completely sure. That's what the summary thing sounded like, but mostly about this because it's got a bunch of pretty girls on the cover. I hope it's queer. But then I think these are all sisters, so I guess I hope it's not queer in that way. Yeah. And then I have Girls Save the World in this one by Ash Parsons. Yeah, so this is about a convention called ZombieCon, and she, the main character and her two best friends go to it, and then it, I think, the zombie apocalypse ends up happening while they're there, and they have to, like, save the world, question mark? <laughs> um, I mostly bought this because this cover is gorgeous! Look at that! Look at those colors! Look at it! It's so pretty! I like it. I hope it's also queer. I hope that all books are queer. Then I have Little Universes by Heather Demetrios. I believe this is queer, but it mainly centers around two sisters who are traveling to Malaysia when a hurricane, typhoon, tsunami hits and their parents die. And that brings up a bunch of like family secrets and weird shit that they have to cope with. That's all I really know about this book. I wasn't going to pick it up, even though I love the cover. And then I heard that it was possibly queer. So I did pick it up. And I'm kind of excited, actually. That premise sounds kind of interesting. I didn't know what the premise was before I bought this. Fun fact. <laughs> then I have Gingerbread by Helen Oyeyemi. I don't really know what this is about. It's one of my lowest rated books on my TBR, though. <laughs> um, influenced by the mysterious place Gingerbread holds in classic children's stories, the beloved best-selling author of Snow Boy Bird, which I've heard was kind of problematic, but whatever, and What's Yours is Not Yours, invites readers into a delightfully inventive and bewitching novel about a surprising family legacy in which inheritance is a recipe. I don't know. Could be interesting. Could suck. I like the cover. I like the crow. It's a good. It's a good. I don't know why it's called gingerbread, but there's a crow with an orange on it, but you know. My god, this book is heavy. What the hell? Oh, it's got a color picture in there. Okay. Is that the only color picture? Looks like it. And I have. <laughs> Oh god, it's so curled in there. Uh, the Secret Commonwealth, which is the Book of Dust Volume 2 by Philip Pullman. This is the second book in a sequel series to the... Oh, what's it called? It's a Netflix show. Golden Compass series. This is a sequel series to that. And I had the first one, so I picked up the second one. I haven't read the Golden Compass, but I have these so that I can read it and then continue on. Then I have All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I read this last year or the year before that and I finally picked it up. I need to read of all the Tides of Fate or something. The second book. It's pink. Uh, this is a YA fantasy book where there is a like monarch that has a special power that rules over a bunch of isles that all have their own separate special powers. Yeah, I enjoyed this book so I picked it up. Then I have More Than This by Patrick Ness. I've always wanted this copy of the book because it's got this little peaky window and I love it. Um, I don't really know what this one's about, but I bought it because I love it. And I've actually, historically, I've really liked Patrick Ness's books, so yeah. And then I have Advice for When You Feel Like Shit by Naomi King. Naomi is a YouTuber slash influencer slash, I don't know, they are a person on the internet. That's how I found them. They made music. Uh, so I guess they're a musician first, maybe. They're a creative person on the internet. I've been following them for a long time, so when they made an advice book, I wanted to buy it, and then it was sold out at... Amazon, which I think is the only place you can really buy it. And it finally came back in stock, so I bought it. So this is a non-fiction advice book, a kind of a book advice that they wish they had, I believe. Yeah, I have this. Then I have Witchlight by Jesse Zabros Zabarski. This is a graphic novel about a witch, I think. Look at look at that art style. It's very, it's very cute. I like it. So yeah, I got this. I have Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey, or Galley, I think it's Gailey. I just read uh, When We Were Magic recently by the same author, so I picked this one up. I hope I also like it. I don't really know what it's about. Magic and liars, probably, if I had to make an educated guess. It's been so long since I hauled a book. This is The Witch King by H.E. Edgemond. This is a queer fae book where the main character is a trans man who has escaped from the fae world to try to live a normal human life but is brought back because he was betrothed to the prince. So this is a great book and I recommend everybody pick it up and read it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I read this maybe in June, but maybe in May. 
so it's been a while <laughs> and yeah i really enjoyed this book and i recommend it and lastly i have the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your house by joseph fink and jeffrey craner this is the third i think it doesn't say um novel based around the night veil universe i'm assuming this one is about the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your house <laughs> um so i picked this up because i want to get into the night veil stuff and i never have I have the first two books, so I wanted this one when I had the chance to pick it up. So I did. And I believe, I believe that's all of the books that I've held this month, this season, this summer. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down below any of the books that like you've bought recently that you're excited about, or if you've bought any of these and if you enjoyed them or not. And I will see you whenever I do my next video.